Hello guys, welcome back to Fun with Frank. In this video, we're going to look at the top 10 funniest animals. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Animals are funny. They also engage in the funniest behaviors. But some of them are funnier than others simply due to the fact that they have amusing physical characteristics. We're about to take a look at some of the funniest animals on the planet. From goofy monkeys to clumsy bears, so get ready to laugh out loud. Number 10. Owl Owls are frequently thought of as being smart and solemn birds. Nevertheless, they are also capable of displaying quite a bit of comedic behavior at times. Their one-of-a-kind demeanor and appearance both have the potential to provide humorous situations. For instance, several species of owls have eyes that are large and round and their whole appearance is extremely fluffy, which gives them a somewhat funny appearance while they are perched or flying. Additionally, their heads can revolve almost completely around their bodies, which may make watching them rather entertaining. People have been able to capture on tape what appears to be owls performing a head spin when they are hunting or inspecting their surroundings. In addition to this, while they are vigilant, owls are known to move their heads in a bobbling motion, which, when seen from a distance, may make them appear extremely humorous. Number 9. Sun Bear The sun bear makes for great laughs. The tropical rainforests of Southeast Asia are their primary habitat, and they can be found there in large numbers. They can reach a length of approximately 1 meter. They are on the small side for bears. Due to the fact that they are quite little, they are frequently referred to as the dog bear. They are lighter than 145 pounds combined. When they put out their tongues like that, I think it looks hilarious. Number 8. Emperor Tamarin The Emperor Tamarin, or Tamarin monkey, is native to the southwestern Amazon basin in South America. Their moniker originates from the fact that they all sport long white mustaches, similar to that of German Emperor Wilhelm II, who is noted for his lavish facial hair. These little monkeys, the Emperor Tamarin, measure only approximately 8 to 10 inches in length and have tan fur with a black cap. Because of their small stature and unique mustaches, Emperor Tamarins are often viewed as humorous and endearing. They are social creatures that spend the daytime hunting for food in the woods as a community. They are also highly gregarious animals, and have been spotted engaged in a range of social behaviors, including as grooming one other and playing. Number 7. Tapir Large mammals known as tapirs can be found in the wetlands and forests of Central and South America, as well as Southeast Asia. They look like a pig and an anteater had a baby because of their stocky bodies, short legs and long snouts. Their short, bristly coat is often brown or black in hue. Tapirs aren't thought of as typically funny creatures, but they have a few quirks that can make them quite amusing. Their long nose and short legs, for instance, might cause them to resemble clowns in appearance. They have a meek and tranquil demeanor, which is perhaps the funniest aspect of them and they prefer to run away from danger than fight. Number 6. The Star-Nosed Mole Typical among the little, mole-like mammals found in eastern North America is the star-nosed mole. The animal's star-shaped nose is covered in approximately 25,000 touch receptors, termed Imer's organs, earning it widespread recognition. Prey items include insects, worms, and small crustaceans can be located and identified with the help of these sensors in the mole's underground environment. The star-nosed mole has superior swimming skills and can move through water as quickly and efficiently as it does above ground. It can swim with greater ease thanks to its wet paws, and it can stay submerged for up to 45 seconds at a time. Number 5. Pinky Fairy Armadillo Chlamyphorus truncatus, commonly known as the pink fairy armadillo, is endemic to the grasslands and sandy plains of Argentina, Chile, and even some of Bolivia. Its burrowing abilities, pale pink or white appearance, and short stature, only approximately 5 to 6 inches in length, have made it a well-known species. The sand pink fairy armadillo is another name for this critter. The pink fairy armadillo, despite its diminutive stature and endearing look, is a species in peril due to its dwindling numbers. Overhunting is one of the principal problems, coupled with loss, degradation, and fragmentation of habitat caused by urban growth and agriculture. 
To help safeguard the Pink Fairy Armadillo's environment and boost its population, conservation activities are under progress in Argentina and Chile. Everyone is armed and ready to go. Touch them, though, and your mirth will quickly evaporate. Even though they appear harmless, you can be sure that they will tear you to shreds. They are amusing creatures despite this. Number 4. Axolotl The axolotl is a type of aquatic salamander that is unique to the Xochimilco Lake system, which is located close to Mexico City. It has gained fame for its remarkable capacity to regrow severed limbs, tails, and spinal cords, and even sections of its brain. Scientists interested in cell biology and regeneration would benefit from researching this organism. As far as we can tell, this species does not go metamorphosis from its larval stage. Adults keep their gills and stay wet due to their high reproductive success, enormous embryo size and high rate of body part regeneration. They are the subject of extensive study. They are frequently kept as house pets. Look at them and tell me you're not having a good time. Number 3. Tarsier Primate species known as tarsiers are endemic to the islands of Borneo, Sulawesi, and Philippines in Southeast Asia. There are long skinny figures and toes of grabbing pads that led them to cling to branches and trees' trunks, and their eyes are the largest of any mammal in comparison. The tarsier is just about 3 to 6 inches in body length, but its tail is so long that it helps it balance and guide it through the trees. They are active at night and feed primarily on insects, lizards, and small birds. Number 2. The Frilled Lizard A species of agamid lizard. The frill lizard is endemic to the forests and savannas of northern Australia and southern New Guinea, where it is also known as the frilled dragon. The frill of skin that surrounds its head is enormous and brightly colored, and when opened, the lizard gives the impression of being much bigger and scarier to potential predators. Some may find the frill lizard humorous because of its dramatic antics, including the opening of its distinctive frill, which draws attention to the animal. The skin's design and vivid hues might also strike some as comical. They are widespread in their natural environments, therefore, conservationists don't worry too much about them. Number 1. Shoebill The shoebill, also called the whalehead or shoebilled stork, is a big bird that is indigenous to the marshes of eastern Africa. It is also known by the names shoebill and shoebilled stork. It is easy to recognize this bird because of the shoe-like form of its bill and its massive size, which may reach up to a height of 5 feet. The shoebill is a carnivorous bird, and the majority of the fish, lungfish, infant crocodiles, and other aquatic species that make up its side are consumed on a daily basis. The shoebill is a solitary bird that can remain immobile for hours at a time. It hunts its prey by sneaking up on them from behind. It is difficult to study them due to its evasive nature, but it's well known for its distinctive beak and its prehistoric appearance. It is believed to be one of the most mysterious birds that can be seen in Africa. Thank you for watching the video.